and welcome to a PaperQuest side quest, where we provide you with a bite-sized spoiler-free review of one of our solo books. My name is Jessie, and today I'm going to review We Were Liars, written by E. Lockhart. A little quick summary is that every summer, for as long as she can remember, Cadence and her cousins have been visiting their family's private island off the coast of Massachusetts. Filled with barbecues, beach trips, and laughter, their summers were perfect. They are the Sinclairs, an old, democratic, New England family, and none of them are criminals, addicts, or failures. They are tall, square-jawed, and athletic. And they are liars. In Summer 15, as she calls it, something happens to Cadence, and everything changes. However, she can't remember what happened, and no one will tell her. In fact, Cadence doesn't return to their house on the island next summer. Her cousins don't respond to her emails, and no one will talk to her. But she's determined to figure out what happened. This book is a fun contemporary young adult mystery, and it's actually book one of two. The book coming out um, this summer is a prequel, and I will definitely be picking that up to read. I absolutely love this book, and I completely devoured it. I read it in, like, one night. (laughs) As someone who grew up in New England, these types of families were actually really common. Families that could trace their history back to the Mayflower and who had the same traditions every summer. Think the Kennedys, you know, like JFK, but not well known. If, um, all the kids learn tennis and sailing, and they're expected to, to attend their family's alma mater of Harvard, Brown, or Yale. This is definitely got to be on your summer reading list. As I mentioned earlier, we follow Cadence, who spends every summer with her cousins. Specifically, she's with two cousins who are her exact same age. So she's the oldest grandchild, and her one of her cousins was born three weeks later, and the other a year after that. They are also spending every summer with their close family friend, who's basically been adopted into the family, and he is slightly older than her. We get to see her both before and after Summer 15, and we go on this journey with her to unravel the mystery of what happened that summer. This book is an easy read and really fun because we have the unreliable narrative from Cadence's perspective. Everything she learns, we discover with her. So she might think one thing is true and learns the truth of the situation, and we learn it with her. There's no like knowing before her. And the twist is really surprising and interesting. For me, this book was easy. Four out of five. Um, As a reminder, the only books that get a five from me are ones that I would read again. And since it is a mystery and I know what would happen, I don't think I would reread this. But I am definitely going to be reading more from the author. As a four-star book, I highly recommend it. I definitely think you should read it. And I definitely think you should read it this summer. Um, it is a beach read, and I think you could bring it to the beach, or if you're an introvert like me, to a family barbecue, and you could read it in just a few hours um, and really enjoy the ride. Let me know if you read this book, and thanks again for joining me today. Feel free to head over to any of our socials and let me know your favorite beach reads. Please rate and subscribe wherever you are listening to this podcast. Follow us at PaperQuest Podcast on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Feel free to check out our $1 Patreon that allows you to get our episodes earlier than everyone else. And leave us a comment so that we know what books you're reading and what you think we should read in the future. And of course, keep an eye out for our buddy reads where James and I review books together. Happy reading. Bye. (laughs)